Hello and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hose Mall Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. And we're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I'm actually at a um, practice management workshop in Florida. So you can see kind of the tropical breeze and plants behind me. But I did want to do a quick tip of the day about urinary problems in cats. So unfortunately in cats we do have a lot of urinary problems. They can get bladder infections, um, they can become blocked, meaning that they can't pee. And so the things you want to watch out for at home are if they're going to the litter box a lot and acting like they're trying to pee or poop, but nothing's happening or maybe they're crying and they, um, when they do go to the litter box and they just keep going back and they leave and then they go back and then they leave and then they go back, that's definitely a urinary problem and they could be blocked, um, meaning that they can't pee and that is an emergency. They need to be brought into the clinic immediately and you need to be very careful around their tummy and don't push on their tummy. Other things are if you're seeing blood in the urine um, or maybe they're urinating inappropriately, meaning that they're urinating outside of the litter box in areas like rugs and beds and laundry baskets and carpet and corners and things like that. Um, sometimes those are behavioral, but a lot of times they're medical issues. So again, make sure that you bring them in, let us check them out, make sure that they don't have a bad bladder infection or some urinary crystals or problems like that. If you have any questions, let us know. Have a great day.